All right, let's take a look at the artwork. This is the painting that was, uh, that was asked uh, for me to look at. I think it's a gorgeous little painting. Gorgeous. And I think the design on it is really, really simple, but really, really brilliant. And um, I love the... I love the negro pelo and uh, against that, uh, that pillow, that white pillow, which causes a nice high contrast. So um, let me see if this works here. I'm going to bring this puppy up. And so what I, what I, when I first look at this image, what do I see? First of all, I see a high point of contrast with the black uh, in the hair against the white of the pillow, okay? So that, that causes uh, a nice contrast. That tells me where the attention of the paint, of my eye, where, where my eye should go and start. Um, the next thing that I see is a very strong diagonal that comes down here, okay? This is the next part that my eye catches. What's neat is that this diagonal then, it runs through her face so it's repeating, uh, the artist repeated this over and over again through this composition, okay? As, and, and it's coming down on this very, very steep angle. When it gets to this point, it shoots over uh, on a horizontal. Now, guys, uh, if, let me see here. I need to know if you guys can see this. Let me just, okay. Uh, wait a second here. I'm trying to see if, um, pin logs to, too low video frame rate. No. Um, Oh, there they are. Okay, great. You guys are seeing it. Good. So I'm going to continue. So we see this horizontal coming across. We see this relationship of these nice, strong diagonals coming through. We have a, a dominant vertical here, which is setting her apart from this side of the room. Now, the room isn't really important except for the fact that she's laying down in bed. And this structure here is probably the bed post behind her the headboard or whatever you guys call that thing and her little nightstand but the nightstand all this all of this stuff is is basically used to help the design so what we're looking at is high point of contrast on the hair now notice on the hair first of all look at the pillows or this big pillow right and it's very very angular Buddy, I need you to stop making noises, okay? Um, it's very angular. It's made of very, very strong uh, uh, straight lines. And then with inside of that, you can see how it like beautifully frames her head, right? This, this uh, diagonal comes across, coming over into this diagonal, this beautiful triangle that she's being formed in. Uh, this coming down through here. It's really a beautiful little composition that's going on inside there. But what I love about this is that the, uh, the angles here are very strong, but her hair has this beautiful curve to it, right? It's just gorgeous, like this. So it, there's your dominant curve. It's your dominant arabesque. And what's gorgeous about this is that these, these curves are kind of like spinning around her head. It's almost like she's in thought, right? She's thinking. The hair is, is, is what's vibrating, what, what's giving us that energy of something's moving around in her, hair, in her head, okay? The artist is now composing the hair to kind of emulate or, or express or to impart or to vibrate or to send out that vibe. Okay, so what's happening here is you see the curves here, they're being repeated here, right up in here, here, through the face like this. It comes back out 
And then what, what happens is it shoots out here, like almost like a, a ring. And then like it flat lines. Wham. Wham. Do you see all of these horizontals that are just pushing us out? All of the all of the um, verticals are very low contrast, so they're not important. But these horizontals are pushing us all the way across everywhere. Look at them. They're just boom, 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 boom. Okay? Now what's interesting is when you have horizontals like that, horizontals evoke peace, tranquility. They evoke uh, rest. Okay, so here's her mind being swirling with these thoughts, and then she drifts off into rest, into sleep, into peace. Okay, now what's beautiful is if you come back here and you look at this angle that's created, what do you see in it? She's holding two little roses. So she's laying in bed thinking about her love because she is alone at this moment. Maybe he's off at war, maybe he's off at work, maybe he's, maybe, uh, I don't know, you know, um, whatever. But she's off thinking about him and she drifts off and then she drifts off to sleep, she drifts off to rest. And the name of this painting is actually called Rest. So it's kind of... It's kind of cool. <laughs> so that's how I see this painting. If I was walking through a museum and I would look at look at that, I would see first of all, like I said before, the the strong straight lines, the curve that's going through her head, how it just quickly curves down here and then comes into all of these horizontals, and and that's the the basis of of this composition of this design. All right, guys. Until tomorrow, I hope you enjoyed that little piece. Uh, I, I will become much, much better at managing all these little uh, technologies. It's just, uh, you know, a learning curve. But um, have fun. I hope you enjoyed that. Until tomorrow. Ciao. Bye.